Hey, hey, you guys, it's Mandy. How's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. Once you jump on, comment below and say hi. Let me know where you're tuning in from. How are you doing today? Also, uh, if you're catching the replay, go ahead and hashtag replay. Let me, got, let me know. Let me, guys. Let me, guys. <laughs> let me know you guys are tuning in to the video. Right now, I am sharing this video to my groups. Hey, what's up, Ariana? How are you, gorgeous? Or Ariana, I choose to know exactly how to pronounce it. Thanks for tuning in, beautiful. Hey, Daphna, how are you, gorgeous? I'm super enthusiastic, you guys, as you know, always to share about consciousness because consciousness is king and everything is energy. So once we learn these truths, we can transform our world. What's up, Shelly Franklin, my sister? Hi, Zia, how are you? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Feel free uh, to comment below, say hi, let me know where you're tuning in from, how you're feeling, what's going on in your world today, and as always, feel free to share this uh, video as well to your timeline if you choose. What's up, JP? How are you? Um, yeah, share this video, and also, uh, click the button down here below somewhere to subscribe and to get live notifications. So, I got my hair done today. Can you guys tell, like, this video doesn't do it justice. It, like, looks like a kind of reddish-orange color, but it's actually highlight, so... I'm uh, super enthusiastic to get more blonde in my hair for the summer. And yeah, like I said, I got my hair done this morning, so it's all good in the hood. But I usually leave there with my hair wet since my hair is naturally curly. I don't like to have people try to do my hair or anything, you know. Um, yeah, so I just threw my hair up once I left, and now I just have it up. So it's all good. What's up, Mark? How are you, Gary DeBakey? Um, I apologize, you guys. I'm going to take a couple minutes to allow everyone to jump on and also to share this video to my timeline. Or to my other groups. Hey, what's up, Rose? How are you, beautiful? How are you guys doing today? How are you feeling? What's up, Liz? I'll be seeing you on Saturday, gorgeous. I'm super enthusiastic about my VIP event here in Bryan College Station on Saturday. This coming Saturday, May 19th. It's called Women Unleashed. What's up, Brian Harris? How are you? So, Liz is one of the beautiful participants. Um, or participants, I guess you call it that. Obviously, you'll be participating. And she is going to be attending my live event. I'm super enthusiastic to meet you in person and everyone else who's coming to the event. So if you guys are interested in learning more about that, ladies specifically, because it's called Women Unleashed. Um, so men, if you're tuning in and you choose to maybe share this information with your girlfriend, wife, sister, nieces, mother, mother-in-law, et cetera, et cetera, feel free to do so. But it's basically, um, it's called Women Unleashed. It's an event here that I'm hosting in Bryan College Station, Texas. And it's all about transforming your life with consciousness. So literally like learning these truths that are super powerful that will support you in transforming your life. Honestly, like this is what, hey, what's up, Dana? How are you? Buds, go coast. I love it. How are you, Dana Plant? Um, this is the truth that I, I know it's so funny to see you pop up. These are the truths that I learned that supported me and transformed my world, transformed my life. And I'm just super passionate about now sharing this information with others, which is why I do so many Facebook Live videos to just really enlighten people, support people, and remembering their truth. And also, um, just because it makes me feel really, really good. So I love to give. I know you guys love to receive, et cetera, et cetera. Hey, Bonnie, how are you, beautiful? So um, once again, it's my VIP event this Saturday. If you guys are interested, feel free to comment below or send me a private. Facebook message. I have a few spots remaining and I would love to give you the rest of the details about the event and everything that we'll be doing. Um, and tonight, oh yeah, do me a favor real quick too. If you choose like this video or love this video, you guys throw me up some, uh, yeah, you can give me some laughy faces or some hearts or some thumbs or whatever resonates with you. And then share this video to your timeline as well. Drinking some decaf herbal tea with my new turquoise straw. I really love my new little straws. And um, yeah, so Hey, Shelly, how are you, gorgeous? So I want to talk about, um, hey, Ken, how are you, my friend? I want to talk tonight about everything in your external world is just you pushed out. Some people would be like, what in the F does that mean, honestly? So I'm going to say it again. You may have, may have or may not have read the title of this video. Um, but what we're talking about here is that everything in your external world, meaning everything in your current reality, everything that you see, everything that you tune into, which I personally believe is not real until we actually realize it, right, in our reality with our real eyes because it could be there and if you're not tuning into it and you don't see it, then it's just clearly because it's not on your vibrational frequency. And that's what I love the most is that I get to create my world. I get to create everything in my world. I get to create my business. I get to create my clients. I get to create my friends um, and the people that I associate with. I get to create, you know, my inner circle. I get to create, you know, how I choose to perceive things. Like we get to create everything. 
everything in our reality, which is really beautiful. Once That's once more just a very liberating truth that once you learn these things, it can support you in really shifting the frequency that you're on clearly, but also just taking full responsibility for your life and just like showing up differently in your world because you get to understand that now, since you are the creator, you, you understand that there are things that you can do that can support you in shifting your reality. If that makes sense. I'm trying to, you know, keep it kind of simple here and kind of basic. And we're talking about like metaphysical. Um, so, you know, if it resonates with you guys, cool. If it doesn't, that's okay too. I trust that everyone who joins my videos and people who follow me, it's because you resonate with the truth that I'm speaking and um, or somewhere inside of the message that I'm sharing or even my energy and what you see in me, there's some curiosity there. And that essentially just means because that's a reflection of you. Like there's something in me that really resonates with you. And that's why you're drawn to me in terms of energy. Because yes, every Everything, once again, is energy. Hi, Nydia. How are you, beautiful? Um, everything is energy. And, um, you know, just once we learn about these things, it's so freaking epic and powerful. Because clearly, in the past, let me just share a little bit of my story. I remember my world just being very chaotic, and I remember um, feeling, you know, stressed out and feeling uneasy and feeling lack, scarcity, and fear, and, you know, having that feeling of, and this is seeing in a new way, which is body language, which is interesting. Of course, I understand it all, but this is body language for seeing in a new way as I rub my right eyebrow, um, and I do that quite a bit when I'm on live videos. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Hey, what's up, Jason? I just saw your profile. Appreciate the love, your little profile picture in the hearts. I love the hearts, um, and so whenever I learn these truths, you know, the way that I used to live or operate, let's just say, is completely night and day from the way that I operate in my life now. And this essentially started for me, I would say, with a huge impact around the beginning of 2015. However, I learned about a lot of these things back in around 2000, maybe 6, 2007, um, and I kind of learned a little bit about it. And kind of like I think most people, you maybe hear about it or... Um, Maybe you learn a little bit of something and then you kind of just toss it to the wayside. You're like, yeah. And the reality is, guys, is that life really is simple and it gets to be simple. And once we learn these really, really powerful truths, which is what I support my clients in, um, we can understand that we get to create our reality and we can absolutely create anything that we desire. And when I say anything, I mean anything. And I also would like to include that that is also the things that you potentially do not desire because wherever your focus goes is wherever the energy flows and that's what's going to create and manifest in your life. And so we get to be very conscious of the things that we're thinking about and the things that we're putting our focus and attention on and the things that we're, um, you know, perceiving, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what will show up. So there's a lot of wisdom in learning these truths and we get to embrace these things because these can actually support us in transforming our lives. So if we have these things showing up, we can lean into them. We can love them. We don't make them wrong. We just get to observe them and say, hmm, interesting. And then we get to see, well, how can I now shift my inner game or my inner world or my inner thoughts, feelings, you know, emotions, which is essentially feelings, actions, et cetera, et cetera, to support me in now creating something different, right? To change the outcome to being something different. And oftentimes people are so stuck on, you know, the hamster wheel or the train track, if you will, and they're so stuck in their program because that's what they have learned because that's what we've been programmed by in our society is they continue to create the same things over and over and over. And they wonder how can they ever get a different result? And it's not that these people are ignorant. More than likely, they have a lot of intellectual, um, you know, they're very intellectual in other words, but they're maybe not necessarily conscious or maybe they're just not necessarily self-aware. They're not not aware and they're not understanding that they're actually creating it. And so I'm trying to make it very simple. I'm trying to actually slow down a little bit to support people. I've also decided to try to keep my videos like really on topic because a lot of times I have a topic and I get so excited and I know so much and the thoughts just keep flowing, you know, just like law of attraction. When you have a thought, law of attraction supports you in having another thought and another thought and another thought that's on that same frequency and I just get so excited and I just go so fast and I find that I watch back my live videos and I've covered like 15 different things that could have been 15 separate Facebook live videos and teachings for you guys. So bear with me. I appreciate everyone's love and support. I love, love, love what I do. And I know I talk really fast. 
And I do see that as a strength, and it's because I just have a mind or a brain that works really, really, really fast. And I also, you know, channel a lot. So when things come through me, I know they're coming through me to be shared. And so it's hard for me to be like, okay, I'm not going to share that right now and just like edit it out. It kind of doesn't make sense for me um, because of the way that I flow. And I know Dame is laughing at me because it's so true. Um, no, the Facebook Live's not supposed to be black. I choose to know. I choose to know why it's black. Mm, that's interesting. Um, and everything's translatable as well. So maybe get off the video and then jump back on and see if it will work. Um, cause I'm pretty sure I'm showing normally if everyone else can maybe give me some, um, some feedback on that. Dana says, I love the hearts too, buds. I create them on my face. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. That's a true definition of someone who loves, what do they call the, um, what do you call it? The heart shape hearts or heart shapes. Uh, I choose to know there's a phrase, right? Oh, love hearts, love hearts, love hearts. Yeah, because you create them everywhere, seriously. You probably create them with like a booger or something. <laughs> you probably have love hearts in the freaking toilet. Yeah, um, I choose to know, gorgeous. You can just um, listen if you choose. Obviously, if you can hear the audio, you can just listen. It was black, but I see you now. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I choose to know. I mean, I have all the bars on the phone. So I'm just going to keep flowing with it. Um, you know, it could have been while I was sharing the video to my other groups. I shared it to like four other groups. And so it could have been during that time that it might have went black. Either way, we're all good. Um, so let me get back on topic. It's just that I'm really choosing to do my best to share with you guys um, just really simply and in a maybe a little bit slower fashion, if that's even possible. And um, to like maybe break these videos up to where it's not so much in one video. So the... It's title of this video is everything in your external world is just you pushed out and hey what's up amy i saw you tune in a second ago what's up Britt lynn michael murphy thank you guys so much for tuning in live um what that essentially means and how we can use that to support us right we can use it to our benefit which is very very um you know wise let's just say dana says i saw two on my walk today of course you did of course you did um so what that means is that whatever is in your internal world is what's going to be reflected to you in your external world so let me use an example i had someone earlier who was interested in my vip event but was having the objection of finances and said that they even had other people talking to them about the event and how much was the investment for the event for the event and you know would you be able to essentially make Make that investment, et cetera, et cetera. So my response was, first of all, we get to remember that any investment that we make in ourselves is an investment that will literally support us for the rest of our life. Like if you're going to make any investment at all, I would recommend making it in yourself before you make it in anything material or external. Let's say like some expensive or not even expensive, cancel on that word. Let's call it expansive because whenever we're investing in something and potentially it is maybe a little bit out of what we're normally used to or out of our norm, we can call that expansion, right? So it's in other words, you're trusting that you're going to receive and you have faith that you're going to receive the abundance to be able to invest in this. So maybe it is an expansion for you and maybe it's a little bit outside of your norm or outside of what feels comfortable for you. But we also get to remember if we stay in our comfort zone, then that's what we're going to keep creating, right? Like the only way to create something brand new in our life and the only way for us to grow and expand essentially is to support ourselves in taking that leap of faith, if you will. Um, and so she was having these objections as far as finances are concerned. And I said, well, first of all, if you're investing in yourself, as we get to remember that any investment in ourself is going to be, you know, worthwhile clearly it's going to change the trajectory of your life it'll change the trajectory of everyone else in your life as well so you're also going to be impacting those people that you work with your family your children specifically most of you guys have children um, and so we just get to remember these truths and so what i had for her in terms of my feedback based on what she was creating in her reality was yes the reason you have these people telling you these things is because that's your subconscious mind that's attracting these conversations because that's what you're somehow believing like that's what you're operating in so just because you know uh i'm choosing to think of some fake names like just because uh i'm choosing to think of a weird name tim maybe that somebody's not a follower or something just because Tim makes a comment about something does not mean necessarily that it's something that is in the forefront of your consciousness. It can be used for you to lean into and say, hmm, so if that's existing in Tim, where is that existing in me? So once again, it's just you pushed out. Pushed out, meaning pushed 
out externally and it's being reflected back to you. So that's why if you're choosing to be upset with your circumstances, if you're choosing to be upset with the way people are showing up, you simply just get to bow down and say, thank you for being my greatest teacher. Thank you for allowing and supporting me to be able to uh, practice, you know, um, being more responsive versus reactive, et cetera, et cetera. I could use a bunch of examples. Um, but we get to lean into these things and we get to use these to our benefit to understand, well, where is that existing inside of me? So if this person, is projecting scarcity, fear, lack, you know, challenges with finances, never having enough. And they're saying this to me, it's only because it's something that I am believing as well. So what you get to do is remind yourself, of course, that you're worthy, you're worthy to invest in yourself, that when you let go of money, that money is just energy, money is a currency, which is just energy, and that you get to trust in God, Source, Creator, Universe, that that money is going to come back to you, remembering that money is just energy, remembering that we can have the energy and be on that frequency of abundance and prosperity, right? And what that takes is faith. And unfortunately, so many people are stuck, like I said earlier, in the hamster wheel or on the train track of living a fear-based reality. And that's why they continue to create the fear-based reality because they simply are not necessarily aware that there is a better way. So I, my friends, am the messenger. I am the teacher. I am here to support you guys in transforming your life by remembering these truths. Because essentially, this is everything that you already know. I'm not teaching you anything new. I'm enlightening you. I'm supporting you in remembering. I'm supporting you in having that aha moment of, yes, this does resonate with my soul. This resonates with me down to a very spiritual level. And yes, I do believe these truths. I do believe that I'm fully supported. I'm fully taken care of, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, if you guys, I'm sure we can all agree that we are souls or spirits here having a human physical experience and that we came from a higher power, God, source, creator, universe, and that we are God funded, right? We, there's infinite abundance in the universe. If they divided all the abundance up, each person on this earth could be a millionaire. So understanding that there is plenty of money aka currency, aka energy out there for you to attract and to receive, you simply get to make these shifts. So once again, my feedback for her was that I, I'm choosing to know why people are saying they can't see or hear anything. That is so interesting to me. What's up, Nancy? I appreciate you tuning in. Hey, Corey Cotton, Jesse Cruz, how are you? What's up, Angelica? Um, Marie Garcia. It, yeah, so a couple people are saying they can hear and see me just fine, but then some people are saying they're seeing black. So I choose to know. I'm still here. Um, and I'm still rocking and rolling. Let me check on this other phone if it is showing up um, normally or not. What's up, Isaac? How are you? Thanks for tuning in. So once again, just remembering your truth, remembering that you are God, source, creator, funded, right? And that your infinite abundance comes from source. It doesn't come from you working hard. It doesn't come from you feeling lack, scarcity, and fear. It doesn't come from you forcing. Remember that force always negates forcing always negates. So if you have a very forceful energy, if you have a very fearful mentality, if you have the energy of someone who is always, um, you know, struggling and trying to make things happen and trying to, I just can't even really put it into words, like trying to con control things or trying to close the deal or, you know, just having that energy of lack, scarcity and fear of like, oh, I, I've got to make this sale or I've got to make this money or I've got to get that bonus. If that's the frequency that you're operating in, then that's essentially what you're going to keep on attracting in your life. So understand that, my friends, understand that only you, only you, only you would have the power to be able to transform that, right? Hey, Nancy, I choose to know, gorgeous, maybe um, turn it off and come back on because I just looked on my other phone and it's working perfectly. And everyone else I think is saying here, I appreciate your feedback, Bobby. What's up, Aaron Smith? Jesse says, hi, all is good here. Thanks for the awesome vibes. Awesome, my friend, Jesse, thanks so much. Dana says, fine for me. What's up, Kenzie? How are you, gorgeous? So yeah, I choose to know, maybe go off of the video and come back on, Nancy, and see if that works for you. Um, also too, everything's translatable, right? So the people that are getting black screens, I'm going to go ahead and shoot it to you straight that if you can't see me, it's essentially because this is something that you're not ready to see. I mean, and this is only me saying this out of love. And so you're hearing it, but it's maybe not something you're ready to see. So we get to remember, like, I love what I hear. I hear what I love. I love what I see. I see what I love. Um, you know, I only see, you know, beauty in my world. I only see abundance in my world. I mean, these are all affirmations and things that we can support ourselves in transforming our inner beliefs. And of course, affirmations 
affirmations is just one part of it. I mean, we can say stuff all day long on the surface level and then our subconscious mind's like, no, 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 that's not really what you believe. And so we get to do the really deep inner work, which is what I'm really passionate about, which is what a lot of my programs entail, obviously, in my coaching, one-on-one coaching, of course, my VIP event that's this Saturday here in College Station called Women Unleashed. So if anyone in the College, Bryan College Station area, or even if you're not, I have two ladies flying in from out of state. Um, and I have several people driving in from Dallas, from Houston, from all surrounding areas. So you do not have to live here in Bryan College Station. It's this Saturday from 11 to 5. I would love to have you guys join. And once again, it's Women Unleashed, so it's for women only. But it's going to be about digging deep. And it's going to be me supporting you almost kind of like, in a way, lovingly kicking your ass and supporting you and like having these realizations by some of the tools and techniques that I use and I still use to support me to support you in getting there right because all day long you can sit here and watch Mandy do her videos and you can maybe hear a little bit of what Mandy's saying and you might kind of tune in while I'm on here live and then you get off and you go back to your same routine of you know pessimism worry fear doubt anxiety and then if that's how you're operating then that is what you continue to attract. So understand, or understand rather, I'd rather use that word, understand instead of understand, inner stand, I-N-N-E-R, having your inner standing that these things that you're creating is simply just feedback for you and that you can, you just get to love them. You don't make them wrong. You get to love them. Just like the ne negative, you know, person at your work, um, you know, just like the situation that happened when someone cut you off in traffic, just like, you know, maybe some comment that someone made to you on your Facebook post. I choose to know. We just get to remember that if it's something that's showing up, it's somewhere that it's existing in our internal world. Perfect example, if I'm posting something on Facebook because it's what I wholeheartedly believe, it's what I speak, it's my truth, it's what I'm here for, I'm the messenger, and someone comments back and has some kind of pushback to what I'm saying, I just get to remember that, first of all, I create my reality. So if someone's having some pushback against what I'm saying, essentially it may be because I'm not 100% owning my truth in that area. Does that make sense? So if everything that is a reflection back to you, you can just love it and let it be okay. You don't have to make it wrong. You don't have to be, you know, reactionary and go off on a person and explode like a ticking time bomb. Once again, you can just be grateful that this person is supporting you and remembering your truth, allowing you to practice being more responsive, allowing you to practice showing love. Does that make sense, you guys? Give me some thumbs up and some hearts. I appreciate you, Dana Plant. So, I know I kind of keep going and I kind of haven't gotten to the other parts of it, but, but the whole point of it is, I remember when I used to live my life that way. I really do. And if there's even just one person that I can support in shifting this by listening to my videos or, you know, whatever, coming to my event or doing my some of my programs or coaching with me, then it's been all well worth it. I remember living in that place. Like I said, you guys, I had challenges with depression from like my middle teenage years all the way up into my 30s, beginning of my 30s. And I took antidepressants for 16 years. I used to drink a lot of alcohol because I wasn't happy. I wasn't living my passion. I had a lot of guilt and shame. I had a lot of shit that I was holding on to, which really does not make a difference at all. It's the past. There's nothing that we can do about the past. I believe so many of us that we're operating in our lives right now in a place from fear, right? It's like a fear-based reality. If we're on that frequency of worry and negativity and anxiety and, you know, projecting our shit on everybody else, trying to control everybody else in our external world, um, you know, hoping and begging and wishing for things to be different and not understanding that simply, you know, we are the force. We are, we're the ones that have the power. We're the ones that are able to transform and create our reality from the inside, right? So once again, the title of this video, everything in your external world is just you pushed out. If you can just love everything that's showing up in your world and lean into it and understand why it's showing up and then supporting yourself and doing the things that you get to do to transform your life, then your life can show up and be differently for you. You can create a different outcome. I mean, that's really, you know, the essentials of it all. So, my question for you would be, what if you begin to serve faith instead of fear? What if instead of worrying about money all the time to where you wake up in the morning and all you're worried about is that and, you know, you're living in this fear-based reality uh, that there's never enough? What if you switch that into faith, understanding that we live in an abundant universe and there's always enough and there will always be a way for you to take care of everything that you get to take care of? And let's say maybe, for example, your bills. And when you believe that and trust that, I mean, I can think back to so many times when I had so many challenges when I used to 
live with that kind of mentality, honestly. And God still always made a way. And I'm not a super religious person. I'm more spiritual, but I tend to use the word God. Sometimes I say universe. Use whatever word resonates with you. I'm not here to tell you what to believe. God, source, creator, universe, infinite intelligence, energy, stars, like whatever really feels good for you. But understanding that you're always going to be taken care of. So it's like, why even invest another day of your energy feeling some type of way? Feeling negative, feeling down, feeling worry, feeling scarcity, feeling fear. When you're that negative person and that's the kind of mindset you have, you will continue to attract those same types of people, those same types of situations, those same types of circumstances. Next thing you know, you're ca- you're going to have a blowout on the tire on your car. Your AC will go out in your house. Like You'll have some challenges that will start to occur because you're essentially in that frequency. You will continue to create all this stuff in your world that you're basically your mind is proven to you that's true that's true that's true because what you believe your mind will always support you in what you believe so if you're deep down inside believing that then you're going to keep creating once again you are the creator of your reality nothing is really real this is really just all like a dream and until you put your attention on it it's never really real to begin with so where are you putting your attention and your focus You know, are you putting your attention and your focus on what you desire? Are you putting your attention and focus on having faith and trusting and expectancy and knowing? Just like knowing that you know that you know? Like with with beyond a shadow of a doubt of like what could be possible for you? Or are you putting your energy and your focus on the negative and lack, scarcity, and fear, and that there's never enough, and that nothing ever works out for me. I used to use the phrase, fuck my life, like all the time. Like that was my phrase, like fuck my life. So a second ago, what I was saying was I took 16 years of antidepressants every single day, taking a pill, thinking that pill was going to make me better, when in all actuality, it was my fucking stinking thinking, right? It was my thoughts that was causing me to have depression. It was what I was thinking about, and it was a multitude of other things, um, some childhood traumas and things that I got to love and let go of and heal. Um, There was also, um, you know, challenges at you know certain points in my life with alcohol alcohol is very inflammatory so when you're putting inflammatory foods and beverages into your body essentially you know your guts your second brain so whatever's going on in here is also going to affect you in here so like changing my diet meditating um just doing different things to support me which is obviously things that i do now um still obviously and then i use these tools and techniques to teach my clients and people who are my programs etc how to transform your life and how to become prosperous, how to have your optimal health, how to have your, you know, lean body or whatever it is that you're choosing to create. Like only you know what that looks like for you. Hello, Larry, Sarah Mendez. I always choose to know if this is Larry or if this is Sarah, but either way, um, I appreciate you for jumping on. What's up, Hubert? How are you? So once again, I invite you guys to start considering like what is it that you are serving? Is it faith or is it fear? And just to to throw it out there a little bit longer, I took antidepressants for 16 years. I got off of those in June of 2012. I used to drink a shit ton of alcohol because I wasn't happy. So I was trying to suppress my reality. And let's face it, when you drink, you get fucked up and it feels good, right? Do you know why people like to drink and why people like to do drugs and stuff? It's because when they do it, Or, you know, maybe it's not just sex or drugs. It could even be like um, fast food or bad food, processed food, you know, sugar, things of that nature. Uh, Could be sex, could be gambling, could be, I choose to know, right? So many different things. Shopping is one of them. But in other words, when you're doing something to try to distract yourself because you're not happy with your internal world and you're potentially, you know, living out of alignment. So you're doing things to try to support you and, you know, feeling better. You know, when you drink or when you do drugs or when you do all these different things, what happens is that you actually... You actually are in the moment, right? You are stopping the negative thought processes most of the time. And you are it's like it allows you to feel liberated, if you will. And the reality is, is that you can have that same exact feeling without having to do any of those other things that could, t- could potentially be self-sabotaging, right? So I've given up alcohol for over two years now. Like I don't require having alcohol to feel good anymore. Now because I'm in alignment and because I'm living my passion and because I'm really happy with my life and because I've done the inner work which is what's really important. Once again, like we can say stuff all day long. I really believe every person has some degree of trauma from their childhood that requires being healed. I mean, we all do. Even if like your parents are still married, like there's still stuff that happened when we were little kids because we didn't have the intellectual capacity. We didn't understand these truths. So like maybe we didn't get picked on the playground for, um, you know, the kickball team or maybe, you know, someone called us, you know, fat or maybe people made fun of you because you were short or who knows, right? So like you have these stories that you created when you were a little kid 
kid because you didn't have the intellectual capacity to understand that, you know, like that stuff really doesn't matter and that that's really a reflection of the other person and that who cares if I don't get picked for the kickball team, like it's not the big deal. But in other words, we start forming these truths about our self-worth and about our image, et cetera, et cetera. And then we go through our adulthood and we carry this stuff out. And most people, you know, here I go talking about a thousand different subjects on my video, but once again, it just flows. So bear with me, you guys. So many people have so much baggage and they're so codependent and they're so unhappy. So they're codependent. They're looking for someone else to make them happy. They're looking for someone else to fulfill them. So they're continuously in relationships or they're always looking for some, you know, next best thing to support them and feeling better and to have, you know, their happiness, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, codependency is literally basing the way you feel on the way someone else is acting. So, so many people are in codependent marriages, codependent relationships. They didn't really ever give themselves a chance to heal which is obviously something I believe is really important, even if you are in a relationship or a marriage, but really giving yourself a chance to heal those wounds to support you in becoming your true self or become your higher self, obviously. So when you're able to show up, you know, differently, then that's what you're going to attract. So we mirror what we attract. So if you choose to have a different outcome, once again, in any area of your life, then you get to do the inner work. And when you understand that your external world is just you pushed out, you can stop being so pissed off about what you're fucking seeing because you can go, okay, hello, yes, I created that. And so there's so many times when I laugh at myself and there's stuff that's going on. My life's not 100% perfect, but I can love it. I can love all of it, right? So when these things actually happen in my life, I can look at them and see that it's just a reflection of me. And I can say, okay, well, where is that existing inside of me? And what do I get to shift and change and transform and transmute and essentially love? Because anything we resist persists. So if you can't love it, you're going to keep it active. So once again, like I said a second ago, like people living in that fear-based mentality, they say we have like 600 thousand thoughts a day and that most of those thoughts are negative and most of those thoughts are repetitive thoughts. So if you're having 600,000 thoughts a day and chances are they're repetitive and they're negative, then imagine the frequency that you're on. So you just get to figure out whatever it is that you choose to create and get into a harmonious frequency with whatever it is you're choosing to create and attract it. But it's a little bit more than that, right? So it's a lot about your thinking. It's about your actions. It's about how you're feeling. It's about your beliefs. And yes, you can say affirmations. And yes, you know, you can, it can be surface level, but chances are something may appear or may show up, but it probably won't last very long. Um, or it just may not never appear or never show up. So you get to see, well, what. In other words, your outcome is always a reflection. So it's like if you're focusing on something but it's not showing up, right? So the outcome is there or it's not there. That's how you know if you're doing the work or not. That's how you know if you've made it or not or if you're there or not. So really digging deep and doing the things that we require doing to be able to shift these things is what's really, really key. What's up, Monique? How are you, gorgeous? Thanks for tuning in. What's up, Colin? What's up, Colin? Um, um says sometimes people live in both fear and faith. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there can be places in your life where you have like ultimate faith, right? You have ultimate faith. You really believe you really trust. And then there can be other areas of your life where you have massive fear, right? And so the whole goal would be to support yourself in having faith in all areas. So wherever that is that you're potentially having, you know, the fear would be what you require focusing on transforming, transmuting and shifting. So that's where the inner work gets to be done. What's up, Lindsay Lolo? So yeah, I think I kind of went off on a few tangents, even though I said I was going to kind of, you know, try to keep it up into one, keep it up to one subject, keep it, keep it to one subject. Yeah. Anyway, um, and I'm choosing also to, to make it a little bit shorter. So we've had 30 minutes of discussion so far. If anybody has any questions or comments, feel free to post them below and let me know. Um, what I can say to you guys is learn this stuff, study this stuff, practice this stuff. Repetition really is key. So practicing your affirmations, doing the inner work, journaling is a really, really good one. Um, you know, first thing in the morning, right when you wake up, doing the things that support you in getting into alignment and trusting that you know you can create your reality and that your day can basically be whatever it is for you choose that you choose for your day to be like so you don't have to be subject subject of you know other people's bad moods or whatever's going on so first thing in the morning is really ideal to support yourself um and so my question for you is if you knew that you were shaping your life clearly if you've been listening to this video then you know if you didn't know now you know right you know now um so if you knew that you were shaping your life is it time for you to create what you desire instead of holding so tightly onto what you fear so if all you're focusing on is what you fear if that's all you're ever focusing on that's what you're going to keep creating and attracting once again your mind is just going to continue to prove that to you over and over and over again so you're going to be like yep see i knew i wasn't worthy to be loved yep see i knew that you know um money's hard to come by that you know everyone's 
always broke and that every time I get a little bit of money that, you know, something happens, my car breaks down or, you know, something occurs and then I don't have any money anymore. Like, what are your beliefs? Like, and sometimes we get to just question, like, where do those beliefs even come from? Chances are it's either your parents' beliefs, it's something that someone else taught you, so it's something that you picked up more than likely from a very young age, as well as it could be something based on your past. And what we get to remember, a lot of times people say the best way to predict the future is to look at the past. No, cancel, clear, delete. Not on us conscious folks, not on people who are self-aware, not on people who understand that they're the creators of the reality because you don't have to keep creating your past. You get to make a new choice and create what you actually desire. You don't have to base it on your past. So I recommend, once again, that you really invest some energy in doing these things. And the reason I say invest energy is because that's what it takes. It can't be just something that you just do when you feel like it because chances are things aren't going to change very much based on that. Um, what body symbol is scratching the nose? So yeah, this is body language. The nose is the I can. So when I'm like, my nose gets all itchy and I'm scratching it when I'm doing my videos a lot of times, that's basically like my subconscious mind communicating with me through my body saying like I can or I will. Like I will as in willing something to me and I can. Like I can, I can, I can. So a lot of times it didn't, my honker, my big honker, my honker wasn't itching this time, but a lot of times on my videos when I'm going hard, like it really does start itching. But this right here is body language for seeing in a new way. So so a little bit ago when I was talking, I saw myself come up and do that with my right eyebrow, which is seeing in a new way. So I want to let you guys know I have a program called Reinvent Yourself Workshop. It is a program that I created and did at the beginning of January for 2018. I had like, I think 30 something ladies in that program. It's off the freaking hook. It has a lot of things in the program that will really support you in digging deep. Like you hear me saying all these things on the video, but it's like, okay, well, what do we do? Well, clearly there's some things that I've talked about, but there's a lot of stuff that I haven't. And, um, there's a lot of, you know, um, uh, hardcore truths, if you will, that once you learn these things, they really can empower you and transform your life. And that's what I'm really passionate about. So in the program, um, it's going to be 28 days long. And every other day you will get a recorded video that's about 45 minutes to an hour long with a brand new teaching, as well as an assignment that will support you in doing the work that will support you in creating your reality in whatever way you choose, which is how I have gone from where I was to where I am now. Um, I just was essentially unhappy. I was choosing to travel the world. I decided because I decided because that's the truth of it all. We get to decide. We have a choice and I decided that I was choosing to create a lucrative online business. I was choosing to travel the world, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what I did. Seven months last year, also went to India in February. Um, you know, I do what I love. I do these live videos. I coach clients one-on-one. -on -one. I have programs. I'm doing that VIP event this coming Saturday, which you guys, if you're interested, let me know. It's called Women Unleashed. It's this Saturday in College Station, Texas, May 19th starts at 11 a.m. I'd love to have you there. Send me a private message or comment below here and I'll give you more details on the program. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be writing a book soon. Like I just have so much stuff that I'm choosing to share. And so essentially whatever I decided is what I have now created. And that's what I continue to do on a daily basis. So this program is called Reinvent Yourself Workshop. And I'm going to go ahead and post the link. I choose to know. Pretty sure I have it here on the clipboard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post the link. You guys can go to my website and you can look up the information. Yeah, it kicks off um, next Monday, right? So it's Monday, May 21st. The website is www.mandyfonville.com forward slash reinvent yourself workshop. And I'm going to go ahead and pin the comment if it's going to allow me to. Oh, goodness. Don't delete the comment. Oops, I just deleted it. My finger or my thumb rather hit the wrong one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pin the comment so that it will be at the top of this video. But definitely, definitely, once we get off this video, go check it out and see if it resonates with you. And um, send me a PM. We'll talk more about the investment of the program. And it's just amazing and phenomenal. I had so many clients that gave me, like, really amazing feedback from the program. Um, goodness gracious, why is this not letting me pin it? It's like it let me hold on to it and then it wouldn't do it. Um, so I had, in other words, I had so many clients that really transformed their life based on this program. I had several who had things going on. Okay, well, I choose to know. Either way, it's going to have to be okay for right now. Um, I had several clients that had some big things in their life that they actually required shifting. Like one lady had some stuff going on for like 10 years. And then after doing my program, she like made the decision. She did what she required doing and now is living a completely different life. So it's just really, really beautiful. And of course, I cry tears of joy when I hear these, you know, transformational stories and the results that people get simply because they're doing the work. Okay. I'm not here to heal you. I'm here to support you in remembering your truth. I'm here to um, support you and empower you and inspire you that you can do this for yourself. And I'm here to give you the tools and techniques what helped me, right, in my experience and the things that helped me in supporting you in doing what you require doing in order to get a new outcome. So that's the reality of it all. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Um says, a friend asked me to ask you, how can you work on not being so indecisive? She is listening in on a call. How can you not be so indecisive? Well, if, like, 
this is what I like to talk about as far as that's concerned. Your heart always knows, right? Your heart always knows. Your soul always knows. And if you just will stop and tune in and listen, you will know exactly what you require doing. And if you're having challenges with being indecisive, it's potentially because you're serving a lot of fear. So I would invite you to consider serving more faith. And once again, to just stop and tune in and ask yourself, what would my higher self do? What would my true self do? What would I do if I served faith? What would I do if I had a million dollars in my bank account right now? You know, what would I be doing? Like, how would I change, you know, my life or where would I be? What would I be doing? I choose to know why. Maybe it's my finger here. It's not. It's, it did it a second ago. So interesting. So I was choosing to pin the comment. And I think I may just try posting it again and seeing if it will let me pin it. But yeah, I trust that that answers her question. Um, it's simply that if you're having challenges with being indecisive, it's more than likely because you, um, goodness gracious, it's more than likely because you're serving fear. Okay. So once again, and I'm just going to leave that right there because it's just not choosing to pin. Um, so once again, you're your heart or your soul always knows the answer, right? It's always there and it's always available to you. It's like, can you tune in? Can you stop and listen, right? If you're serving a whole lot of fear, then you're going to have all kinds of thoughts going all over the place. Once you start practicing this, obviously, like I said, it's all about repetition. And once you start practicing this so much, it literally becomes second nature. You can be the master of ease. As my coach was saying this morning, we were chit-chatting when I was driving to go get my hair done. And we were talking about that and how her daughter called her the master of ease. And I was laughing. I was like, yeah, you are the master of ease. And we can all strive to be the master of peace and ease. Like one of my biggest affirmations is I am peace and ease. And I believe that I am peace and ease. And when something shows up, I simply get to reflect on it. Once again, like I've been talking about the whole video and seeing, you know, what information is in that for me. Like what can I learn from that? How can I transform from that? What does that mean? What is that representing? Um... Yeah, once again, I'm going to try to pin this comment. So, yeah, I trust that answers your friend's question. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Feel free to comment them below. And feel my love and appreciation for each other one of you guys. Once again, it's not pinning. I'm going to leave it like that. I did three comments already. Third time's a charm. Um, so, Reinvent Yourself Workshop starts this coming up Monday, May the 21st. And it's going to be super awesome and amazing. Click on that link right there, www.mannyfonville.com forward slash Reinvent Yourself Workshop. And you can see all the details, even more about my personal journey and testimony of the things that I've been through and how I transform my life to having an epic, amazing life that I love now. And that's what I'm super passionate about doing is supporting other people and liberating themselves and learning all of these truths so that you can have a life of peace, ease, clarity, joy, prosperity, optimal health, and like feel good in every area of your life because you're understanding that you're actually the creator of your reality and that you get to be, you know, responsive instead of reactive and that you get to look at everything in your external world as simply being a mirror or a reflection of exactly what is occurring on the inside and all it is is feedback. So it's like, okay, cool. Well, if that's showing up, then that means I get to do a little bit more self-love in this area. I get to, you know, dig a little bit deeper and figure out where is that existing in me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like that's kind of it in a nutshell. What's up, Randall? Thank you so much for tuning in um says i love your authenticity i appreciate you gorgeous yeah i love sharing so it's what i do and obviously um I have now been able to create, you know, a lucrative online business from doing so. And I really believe that each and every single one of us, we're all here for divine purpose and a reason. And we all have a message to share. We all have our truth and our message to share and how we can actually start showing up and we can start shining our light brightly. And instead of having fear, once again, we create our world. So I don't have fear about what other people think about me. It just doesn't exist in my world. I know that I'm solid in my truth. I know that I'm the messenger. I know that I'm here to share my message. And I know that everything I'm sharing is coming from a place of love. So I don't have fear any longer of judgment like if people are going to judge me that's on them if someone's judging you it's a reflection of them not you so if someone's judging me for anything then that's on them it's not on me so it's a really beautiful way to start living and once again I could just continue to go off for probably another several hours um, because once again it's just what I'm so passionate about I got distracted by the dog she's over here going to town on her um, toy so film my love and appreciation for each and every one of you guys I trust you guys will be interested in joining my workshop maybe um you and your friend might be interested if she's having some questions it really is is, is is transformational i cannot stress that enough because it's just amazing so um check out the link read all the information send me a private message i appreciate the love you guys i'm sending you all lots of love and healing energy lots of love and light i'm trusting everyone's doing absolutely phenomenal you guys are beautiful cosmic divine beings of light and just continue to shine your light brightly show up and just share and just share your message be often be authentic share your truth and just love other people like you show up in that form like everything else gets to fall away if, if that's really what you're focused on so i appreciate you nancy i appreciate you shelly i see everyone's love hearts and um i look forward to 
chatting with each one of you guys soon. Have a good night, guys. Bye.